hello everyone and thank you so much for let's see here how did we get down there we've got a super chat already oh my goodness carola thank you so much just wanted to say thank you because it popped up and i really appreciate that anywho hi everyone it's kathy zilski welcome back to my channel and my studio it is good to see you all here today. I am live. It's Wednesday noon, and so this is live. Anything can happen. Sometimes we talk a lot. Sometimes we get off topic. That's the show. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, but it's great to have you all here today. Uh, see lots of people in the chat, familiar faces. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, T. Chamberlain. I know you're, um, I hope you have a good day today. That's all I'm going to say, because you know what? I saw this, um, Venn diagram, is that what it is? Where it said, um, there's a circle and it said people, and then this tiny dot that said what you know about what that person's going through. I, I, I Does that make sense? And it said, so never, never judge a person because that tiny little dot, that's really all you see and we're all bigger and, well, I mean, physically I am bigger, but you know what, it's neither here nor there. Let's go to the, oh wait, before we go to the table, I have to tell you something. Okay, so today, I was inspired. I don't know how many of you are members of the Gina K Designs and Friends group on Facebook. It's one of my favorite groups. Um, I lurk in there. Sometimes I post, but it's a great community um, sharing all of Gina's wonderful products and all the people. It's very kind and I love the group. There is a woman in that group who posted something a few days ago. Her name is, and I already forgot it. Yeah, let me tell you. That's why we write things down. Mindy Farmer. Mindy Farmer, who was at work today and said she cannot make the live. I said, Mindy, I, can, I'm going to make this card because when if you haven't seen it and when you see it, you're going to be digging through your dies, whether you have the dies that I'm using or whether you have a leaf die, you've got to see this. I'm going to give it a try. Let's take a look. So I wanted to tell you what we're going to do is we're going to take our nature leaves and we're going to turn them into a snowflake, which is what she did. And I just was like, that is so dang cute. Yes, Mindy, right? Hi, Mindy Egan. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make a snowflake out of leaves. And when I saw it, I'm like, I got to do it. So let's uh, let's make some noise here. I'm going to take, oh, I don't know where to put you. I'm going to take the uh, thing off my grip mat. All right. Oh, Cheryl Buck, I hope your day turns around too. You know, because you know, here's the thing. Crafting, well, let's get you up here. Crafting can be something great just to kind of take our minds off of things. It certainly does for me. I think sometimes when I am doing card stuff, I am so focused on that, that whether I am stressed out, whether I'm feeling anxious, both of those things happen at the same time. Um, I find it to be really, really helpful to just sit down and make something. And you know me, nine out of 10 times I film the whole thing. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm going to, um, if you're in that group, you got to search her name and you'll see what she did. I don't know if she's on social media. So if she is, I'm going to find out. I don't know how to track people down. But let's get started with some cardstock because I'm going to need eight leaves, which I've already done that die cutting just because I didn't want you to see so much die cutting that it drove you, you know, the sound wise. Um, Tina, this is the eight and a half inch square. And the reason I'm using the bigger one today is because I have a piece of the Gina K Designs Heavy Base Weight White. I love this cardstock. It's very smooth and I needed a bigger piece because I am going to be taking, and this is the autumn leaf set, but any die set you have that has a leaf, whether it, or you could do this with a stamp set too. Just look for your leaves. I know y'all have leaves and I am going to be, oh, where's that? Oh no. Where did the other one go? <gasps> I have an outline here and I can't find it. Oh no, shoot. Okay, I'm calm. This is, I'm calm. I need the outline for this. <gasps> oh, this is going to change. Oh, it's right there. I'm a highly trained professional. I don't know. I wanted to show you this though. Okay, we're going to be cutting a bunch of backgrounds out here. Now, this little cutie, isn't this cute? 
I just ordered these from Tailored Expressions. I don't think I have a link in the description. I'll definitely add it. You know, you can buy magnetic paper and I will also link to that, which is so cheap and very nice and I love it. But because I wear the same shirt every day and have no shoes, I do spend extra on craft stuff. And I just think these are like really heavy duty magnet boards from, um, from Taylor. And she also has bigger ones. So I ordered more of those too. Anyway, I think it's cute for uh, little, little guys. We're right there. Oh, Kathy. It's I, I'm live. It's what's going to happen. So shall we grab a blending brush? I am going to make a background and I'm going to use these three colors, carnation, lilac, and twilight. Um, this is a color combo that I love. Hey, Vicki. Oh, sorry. I need to have a sip. Oh, what's this? 75,000. This is this is a boop bottle. I'll, I'll keep it back here, then it'll stay focused. For my friend Vicky, it has boops, it has sequins all over it, and uh, Vicky sent that to me to celebrate seventy five thousand. Also, got the best card from uh, Linda Gorman. Linda, I don't know if you're out there today, but I loved it. All right, we're gonna prep our brush first because I'm not really sure what I was doing on this last. Hey, TJ, Tanya, good to see you. All right, we're going to start. And, you know, I, I don't ever feel too much pressure to go fast and speed it up. But here's what I'm going to do. We're going to start with carnation. Because here's the thing. I, I don't know what that was. I need to fill the circle so that I can take the backers, right, and go all the way around and cut them all out. So there's going to be a little bit of, uh, well, there's going to be a little bit of uh, die cutting. Linda, I love it. I'm going to show that card on my 75,000 stream, which is, do I want to show you this real quick? 75,000 subscriber event this Saturday night, 7 p.m. Central. Look at all the sponsors. I've got lots of things to give away. The giveaway is going to happen on my blog, and I'm super excited about all of these generous companies. Oh, love it. That's coming. Okay, the grip mat is from Waffle Flower, and they are carried at Waffle Flower Crafts and Simon's Stamp and maybe other places, but I'm, I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna start blending. Now here's the beautiful thing about what I'm doing. I'm going light in the middle and darker on the outside because I feel like, I feel like it's gonna have a good look. So I wanna have all my backgrounds done at once. Now the fun thing about this is you could do I mean, you can do so many different things. The card that I saw by Mindy, she did um, metallic backgrounds on hers and some white and some metallic. It was beautiful. And I thought, what would this look like? So I don't know. I don't make things in advance. I mean, like I do some die cutting, right? But I, I hope it looks good. I have some ideas. All right, taking my brush. And if any of you are wondering what the heck I'm doing, I, uh, I'm just cleaning whatever was on here awful. It doesn't look like there's much on here. I don't wash my brushes anymore. I don't do it. I don't do it. And that avoids people having to say, I forgot to share this with you. That avoids people having to say to me, if I do wash them, you're doing it wrong. I have you're doing it wrong all set up and ready to go. So that's... That's my only sound effect. Well, I have others, but again, you're doing it wrong. That's for all the people out there who, you know, you know what I'm saying. All right, we're gonna go around the outside. Now this is lilac. I'm gonna try to overlap and blend in a bit. It does not have to be perfect. In fact, this is gonna look like a freaky little eye of Sauron or something. I don't even know. It's a, uh, you know, it's just this. Mindy, it's a sound effect. I recorded myself saying it, and then I put it into, what's it called? GarageBand, and then I exported it as a sound file, and then I watched a YouTube video to tell me how to add a sound effect to Ecamm, the software. You're doing it wrong. And now I know how to do it. Oh, Misty, no, you don't have to register to be eligible for prizes. Here's what will happen. And again, I, I guess I can just, you know what I'm doing. 
um, there will be a blog post and that is the place where you will come, you will leave a comment and all the prizes will be chosen at random from comments left on my website on the blog. The blog post is not up yet. It will be going up live at the same time as my live. That will be the blog post. I will direct you there and everyone who wants to enter for a prize will just leave their name there. That's it. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to sign up for anything. Um, that's not my style. <laughs> Plus, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know how to do that. So, okay. Well, here we go. We're, oh, and now I'm coming in with Twilight. So my hope is once we get our leaves done, that the outer edge, now see how much darker this is? It's going to work. It looks a little... Looks a little floofy, but trust me here, we gotta go around. Go around, getting you darker, and then we'll worry about the blend, so. Okay. And I I am gonna put some snow on this too. I couldn't, I couldn't decide. Well, you know, it's just, here's the thing, you're doing it wrong. People, people who do say things like that, it's like, come on, people, come on. Oh my gosh, it's it's hilarious to me. And uh, well, that's, that's the story I'm going with. Okay, so this is gonna be on the outside and now I wanna do my best. I mean, it kinda just looks like a, like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, the giveaways, Lola, I believe they will be because 90, 90%, 95% of the giveaways are gift cards. And when I tell you, you want these gift cards, again, these are the sponsors. And there's going to be a few prize packs from some people, but most of these companies are donating gift cards, which means you can shop yourself silly from overseas. So, all right. Um, I'm going to come back in here like this. And I feel like this is probably good, but just to make sure I want to bring in a little more. You know, that's true. Everyone has their way of doing something. And now now here, you know, in Minnesota where I live, I learned this from my uh, my husband. There's a Minnesota way of saying of saying it. And uh it's a lot of guys wouldn't do it like that. <laughs> that's the nice way. Uh, I just saw that someone ordered uh the genus mists, so I'm watching last night. I just like, she just introduces them and I'm like, I'm getting the silver and the gold. So I ordered them right away um, along with that floral layering stencil. Now, granted, Gina sends me products all the time, but I also like to support her business and I like to sneak in purchases where I can. Okay, this is what we have, right? Looks like a hot mess, but what we're going to be doing is going all the way around with this as our as our background for snowflakes right and then we're going to overlay our die cut now will it look good it's so minnesotan right a lot of guys wouldn't do it like that but if it's working for you that's great okay let's get some snow i i uh have a funny story well it's not that funny in fact it's not funny at all um i <laughs> the other day i was looking at my computer I have a laptop that I use just for live streaming because turns out it takes a little takes a little juice, right? You gotta and my old laptop wasn't cutting it. So I have this new laptop that I bought before I moved into this studio. And I looked at it the other day and I'm like, huh, someone spattered all over the computer. It was me. So I, I need to remember to cover it up. All right. I'm going to put this here and let me grab my little box. All right, we're gonna do this first because if we do this now, then I can let it dry and we can do the greeting, all right? So where did that towel go? Oh, I had a towel here, here we go. All right, this is a towel, a dish towel, and it needs to go over everything back there. Okay, I even remembered today, oops, to get some water because I'm going to set you aside. Don't lose dyes. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my little number two round brush because I've kind of been digging this 
as a spatter. Don't get me wrong. I love the, I love the, uh, my fan brush, but lately I've been liking it. So I'm going to grab, let's see here, a brick and where is my, oh, hold on here. All right. I'm going to grab my Amsterdam fluid ink, titanium white. You know who I learned about this from when I first started making cards? It was, uh, the one and only, one of my favorite card makers and people on the planet, Laura Basson. And I'm just going to tell you, Laura is going to be one of my guests Saturday night, if I can figure it out, as will Jennifer McGuire. I don't, I don't have a lot going on. You know, I don't, I don't have a lot of friends, but that's, that's who I've invited. And we're not going to keep them on forever because we got things to do. Oh, speaking of lives. All right, I'm putting some on here. You don't need much, right? Closing it up. Uh, well, thank you. This is, um, my manicure. This is one week of, uh, uh, actually eight days, but I'll tell you the secret to what I do. I, um, I file my nails every single night. It's just what I do. Now I'm going to start here because see how blobby those are. And then I'm going to bring it in and I just tap on my finger. Most of the time, I guess you can do this too. Let's try that. Um, mostly I want to focus in here in the center because that's really where you're going to see it. So I guess I could kind of come out. We're just tapping or you can, you know, you can also do this, right? Sometimes I don't do this cause I feel like I can't see and then I don't know what's happening, but this will be fine cause we're going to die cut. And actually you barely even see some of this because um, because of the die cuts we're laying on top. So it's really more of a textural thing. Now, here's what I remembered today, water. <laughs> so I can try to keep this somewhat clean and I'll wipe this off. Oh, the Minnesota goodbye. If you're talking about the fact that people start saying goodbye and then you're, uh, you're still there 45 minutes later, I did not grow up with that. <laughs> My daughter and I have a joke that we do the Irish goodbye, which I heard is you literally just leave. You don't, say, you don't even say anything. You just, you just walk out the door. And that's, that's what we like to do. My side of the family, but my side of the family here is not large and influential. It's just me and my daughter and my son. There's a, there's a lot of Zilskis here. Okay. Now I'm going to set this aside, but see how pretty that is. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just a thing to die cut. All right, while this dries, let's take our towel out. I am gonna stamp a greeting. Okay, <laughs> is that the Irish goodbye? I, I've heard that term and I freaking love it. Love it so much. Anyway, thank you everyone for who's here today. It's good to see you, good to have you. And uh, you know, I hope, you're, I hope your Wednesday is going well. All right, we need some more paper for stamping. I got a misty. Not afraid to use it. I'm gonna set you. Where can I put you that I won't? Oh, I'll set you on the top of my die cut machine. I've got this and I've got paint all over here. So let's. This is where I feel like um, <laughs> the anal retentive crafter. Oh, that won't do. That won't do at all. Um, <laughs> where did my favorite? Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. See, I never, I just, yeah, I'm ready to go. And I'm when I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. And I guess, I mean, you know, different strokes for different folks, right? It takes all kinds of people, but I am definitely one of those people that when it's time to go, it's time to go. Okay, I'm gonna bring in, I have some pre-cut cardstock, not that one, but this. And again, I'm just doing all of this on the heavy base weight because I just figure I want all of my whites to match. Let me grab my, my powder. Where are you? Here we go. So, okay. I am going to use the very same greeting that I saw uh, Mindy use because I love it. And this is part of the uh, little, what is this called? I, I had it, oh, well, it's Frosty Friends or Frosty. 
when this was part of Gina's kit last month, and now it's available as a standalone, which I really love that she does that. Um, you know, of course, the bundles are great deals, and sometimes they sell out, but then Gina restocks, and you end up with this magic to buy separately. Because, you know, sometimes you don't want the whole bundle. The, it, the Animal Retentive Crafter, I, I had to laugh because... I literally just watched that um, Phil Hartman SNL sketch a few weeks back, and I'm like, that's me. <laughs> and I'm kind of embarrassed by it. All right, I'm going to get powder. Where's my Versamark? Hmm, well, I'm pretty sure I... Yeah, there you go. I want you all to know that um, <laughs> my space is not big, but I love it. But it's just, there's not a lot of room here, and sometimes things go missing. Sometimes they go missing right in front of me. All right, I am going to try to make sure this transfers without smushing that teeny tiny little wishes. So I'm gonna do it a few times. And I used my anti-static powder so that, you know, it, you know, it did its thing. Let's see if I get this good enough. I just, sometimes I don't press hard enough when I have something delicate. So we're gonna try it, hold tight. All right, I need a fresh piece of paper. And let me see. I believe, I believe it's all there. Let's see. You know, sometimes you just gotta stamp it and see. So let's see. And this gives the other thing a good dry time. In fact, uh, oh, Adam, yep, you can. The reason I switched my Misty is because someone literally said, several people said this, you're doing it wrong. And so I'm like, I am doing it wrong. <laughs> and, um, well, I can't see. So, um, and it was meant in love, right? But yes, you can use it either side. And I switched because, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, that looks great. And this is sterling, by the way. I wanted to be able to see, wait, no, this way. I wanted to read the rulers in a, well, that's how I wanted to do it. <laughs> so that's how I do it. I have no idea if that is, um, how, how, how do you do it? You know what I mean? The opposite, like Gina, it, you know, again, we're all going to end up with beautifully stamped images. And that, my friends, is truly the beauty of the Misty. Okay. Also, the beauty of Gina's white cardstock, it's very smooth, and I find that it has less static, possibly, than others. I don't know if, you, if you've noticed that. Oh, going the wrong way. Let's melt the powder. All right. Oh, that looks good. Oh, look at that. Mm. Okay, that powder, I mean, look at that. Look at how it holds. This is the Brutus Monroe sterling but check that out it held it the stamp stamped so beautifully ah love it so pretty all right i do have a die for this and so let's grab that see all these things we can do while the snow dries but yeah the snow is going to be fine all right for those of you who wonder i'm i'm using the anna griffin impressed die cut machine i've switched i really love it um I don't know. It's it's great. Um, I'm actually going to clean this real quick. And um, this is not a magic mat. I do have a magic mat, but I use it as a mouse pad, which is true. It's just right. I don't know. I just didn't have success with the magic mat for me. But this is just the magnetic mat that comes with the... Uh, you know, the thing. Also, I'll be sure to add a link for the video that I did with these little snow friends because I think these are so cute. Okay. All right. We're going to grab the dies that go with this one. And I, that's the same set as the snow people. 
I'm pretty sure it's this one. And I, you know what? I don't think I'm going to tape it down. Um, yeah, these are great embossing powders. Absolutely love them. Wait, is it this one? No, this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. eh. Hold on. No. Why am I not seeing the right? No, this, this has to be it. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> It just takes me a minute. Now I'm gonna have to look over this. Look at look at what's happening though. My tape is almost out. It's a good thing I have a backup. Uh, okay, there we go. Also, I want to point out my head's gonna get in the way. If you have a question during this live and I don't see your question because you know I wish that I I gotta get closer. I wish I had a Tom. I have a Dan and he's pretty great but um my moderators Beth and Emma thank you ladies for being here especially because I think Beth's not even she's on vacation she's on vacation um I'm not gonna make a template for this I'm just gonna roll the dice I think that looks good excuse me look it down okay um I will look in the comments after the video too okay I feel like I'm off well, you know what? We're rolling the dice. That's what we do. We roll. Well, it's not technically dice, but here we go. Yeah, that's going to be good. Let's go to the die cut cam. There she is. Oh, look at my piece drawing. Well, I guess I got to move you now. Got to turn you on. And let's go. Come on through. We, we all need a Tom. Um, Tom's so funny though. I hope I did a good job, but you know what? I'm not gonna sweat it if I didn't. And yet, guess who just nailed the landing? Me, 10.0. All right, let's cut a couple more or at least one more to have just a little, little bit of, uh, you know, extra support. Oh, let's see here. I'm gonna go down here and click on New comments. Oh my, there's a lot of comments coming through. Okay, back to die cut cam. Just gonna do this to get a little extra. Hey, Lisa Hetrick, look at you. Oh, Lisa has, ah, uh, Lisa's set is gorgeous. Is it, did you call it pumpkin Lisa or gourds? I don't know what it is, but it's, it's divine. It is divine. All right, now we need to cut some of these out. I am just going to tell you this. I apologize in advance. It's going to take some time. Well, it's going to take eight passes of the die cut machine. There's no way around it. So let's grab the outline that I thought I had lost. All we're going to do, right? We're going to make sure that we get as much of each sort of that as possible. See, I just wanted to have a little of that twilight at the end. And now cover here and we're gonna run it through. So here we go. Let's go die cut cam. Oh, I always forget you have to hit the run button. I wanna tell you something about the die cut uh, setup that I have here. Coming back. There's gonna, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of back and forth. People are gonna be like, whoa, Kathy, whoa. Um, the top plate that I'm using, I made a mistake and I actually cut into a few things. But what I try to do is I try to keep my top plate clean. Why? Well, because, oh, look at that. There we go. That is gorgeous. Um, because if I do keep it, and you know what, here, this is going to help me to figure out, oh, see, I might have wanted to go up a little higher, but this keeps my die cuts, the tops of them, from getting scraped up or dented or marked up. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think you do. Because I saw someone asking actually today on the Simon Says Stamp live stream. They said, uh, how do I stop my the tops of my die cuts from picking up stuff from my plates and the only way I know how is oh where's my pokey tool I don't want to I don't want to bend anything the only way I know how is to keep a clean top plate 
right? Oh, and especially, yeah, Vicky on, especially on metallics, right? So let's get in closer like that. So that's what I do with this. All right, here we go. So you can see there's a lot of die cutting. Oh my goodness gracious, but we love it. And back to the table. All right, we gotta do this a total of eight times. <laughs> it's a lot. It's gonna, it's gonna be great though. I hope, I don't know, because I have I have one more thing too, I have an embossing um, that I want to do. And, and it doesn't really matter if these are like in the exact same position, you know, you're just, just we're just creating a background. And there went my stomach, which is growling. It shouldn't growl, but okay, here we go. Bye Rosie, glad, glad to have you here for a short time. I have to tell you all a little story about dinner tonight. Um, there is a place, and I don't know if this is national. It might be, but I have no idea. There's a place called Co Cochina de Ana, and it's a Mexican take and bake. And their food, I have never gotten it for myself. I've only had it at other relatives' houses or gatherings. And I have ordered the Chilaquil Verde uh chicken casserole and i am picking it up at four o'clock you have to you have to order it a day in advance because they're very popular and if you show up there and you, you act like you can order good luck hey gina k i'm using gina i'm using your leaves because gina we're doing that snowflake that that woman that lovely woman in your group um mindy farmer uh made and I'm making one. It's gonna be so fun. Okay. Anyway, I'm making Cochina de Ana. It's all gonna be uh, baked at home and I'm super geeked. Yes, Gina, check it out. I have all of these cut and, oh wait, <laughs> table cam. Oh gosh. I have all of these leaves cut. These are all the backgrounds and we're gonna make this pretty little, um, well, we're making a snowflake, not this. Although here's the thing, you know what? Once this is done, uh, oh gosh, that could be a card too. What? Well, I'm not gonna do it for today's live because you gotta, you have to stay focused. You know what? Oh, that reminds me, <laughs> so many things. This Friday, I believe if every, if all the stars fall into place, I am gonna be going live with my friend, Jennifer McGuire and Miss Gina K herself. I think we're going to go live over on Jennifer's channel for a crafty cohorts chat. Um, I went live with Jennifer last week. The time flew and uh, we're, we're, we're planning on doing it again. If, if the stars align, did it shift? Okay. How many have one, two, three, four, five, six. We still got to do two more and tuck you in. But see, you know, if you were really meticulous with this, you're also creating a snowflake that you could turn into a shaker, but that was not my plan. My plan, my plan is to uh, make a snowflake on my card. And I have an embossing folder also from Gina that I'm going to be using today for a background. So we'll see, I've got, you know, this is like, welcome to die cutting. Do you have a die? Would you like to cut things out? This is what you do. Um, I just didn't envision having that. So I'm, I don't want to set that aside. You, never say never. I could always post it like to my, uh, oh, what's that called? Instagram. That's what it's called. Instagram. All right. This is our last cut for this. All right. I'm not even going to show you because you've seen the die cut cam and I don't want to make it. I don't want to make anyone dizzy. It is a labor of love. Um, but you know what? It's 1235 and sometimes we have to labor for what we love. Okay. So now I have all of my backers. Okay. Now while I'm here and let's, why don't we put this here so I don't lose it? <laughs> like I thought I had lost it. Oh, did I lose one though? No. Yes. Oh yeah, this fell off. See, that's what happens. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna put this back inside because I do not. Gina K. 
Gina K sent me a super chat. <laughs> Gina, I love you. That's hilarious. All right. Well, I'm going out to get some more bran flakes then because mama needs fiber. Fiber's good. Okay. We're going to set that aside, but you know, it could be something, but not today. All right. The other thing I want to show you is we're going to grab this folder, which is the Gina K Designs Snowflakes. Gina, that just cracks me up. I'm just dying over here, but I, I love you. Okay. <laughs> You're the best. You know, Gina and I had, had lunch once. Remember that, Gina? We went to, uh, oh, what's it called? That pizza place. That pizza place. Um, I have gone blank, but they make like little artisan pizzas. Martha, thank you so much for dessert. That's great. Well, you know what? I'm just saying, bran flakes are pretty great. They're pretty great. Um, all right, I need to pull out some information. Here's why. Here's the thing with die cut machines. I don't I don't know what's what and what is for what but I use different machines for different things Which sometimes can be frustrating, but I'm gonna have to open this up and read it. Um, I want to do an embossing folder And so I guess I need Okay, I'm just getting a sandwich, you know, what, what are you gonna do? We're gonna say this folder which is Gina K Design Snowflakes. I have a panel of cardstock that punch pizza. Thank you, Gina, I totally forgot. I've trimmed this down to be uh, four inches by five and a quarter. I think this will be enough size. I just wanna have a little more snow texture. So I'm putting in the cardstock. It doesn't really matter which way because I don't have color on here. Then I'm gonna take, yeah, my bot, how do I do this? Oh my goodness, okay. Let's go back in. We have our plate A. We have our shim. Come here. Oh my goodness. Come here now. We have our metal shim like that, right? Then we put our embossing folder with material. That's cardstock. And now, <laughs> you guys. Oh, Martha and Carol, that's just fantastic. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, you guys. Carola, I'm telling you. Okay, I think this is the sandwich. Shall we see? Honestly, if it doesn't work, I can try it again. I'm going to hit run and we'll see. Oh, something's happening. Slowing down. It is slowing down. Hen House, Jen Altman. Oh boy, that, okay. See, I can't ever get the pressure right, but we'll see. I'm sure this worked. And now as I open it up, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, table cam. <sighs> Telling you what, it's kind of hard when you're uh, a one woman show. Gina, can you just loan Tom out? Could he just come sit in the back? I could make a dead space for him. Look at that texture. Okay. Am I right? That's crazy. Look at that folder. This is just a regular embossing folder, but holy buckets. I love it. Okay. It's exactly what I wanted. Now, now we make a snowflake. Okay. Setting you aside, getting these things out. I think I am done die cutting for now. Okay. You know what? Uh, we love it when people pop in too, Gina. And here's the thing. I mean, you know, I don't have a lot of time sometimes during the day to watch other people's lives, but I feel like Gina's lives they're like, they're like my break. In fact, this might sound weird and I don't mean it sound too weird, but last night I was just waiting for Gina to make her card so that Tom would start playing. And then I could just like, I could just zone out. I could just zone out. Wait, Mindy, are you here? Hey, look at Mindy. I'm, cut, I'm doing, doing your card. Mindy, here's a question for you. Do you have an Instagram that you would be interested in sharing? If you do, let me know or post it in here um, because you make beautiful cards. I saw another card Mindy made again with this leaf idea and it was absolutely beautiful. Now, um, I have an idea that may or may not work. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little connect glue like that, okay? Take my tweezers and this is where we're just gonna say, I, I have to get a little glue on here like this. This could be quick. 
and it might not be super painful. No, no, I am. Gina, I just, yeah, when Tom plays, I find it to be so soothing. Oh, I love it. Okay. Now this is what we do. We're going to glue each one. And while we wait, we're going to put each one underneath here. So this is, snow, this is leaf one. Okay. And I may not have had enough glue on there, so I may have to do you never know. I don't want to use spray glue. I'm really trying to wean myself from it because, and actually I don't, I don't need to spray glue. It's, it's so fast and, but liquid glue is better for the environment and I want to be better for the environment. Thank you so much, Joanne, you guys. I hear the little, the little Snapchat thing and, oh, I really appreciate it. Bobby, hey, haven't seen you in a while. All right, again, this is a little, a little tedious, but here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep gluing so we can make our snowflake. Now, here's the thing too. Some cards like this, you know, you have to, you have, it takes a little time, right? You're gonna do each leaf and back it beautifully. And the leaves themselves just look so good. I don't love the drag through glue. I know other people do it. Actually, Wait, Mindy Farmer's here? Wait, what? You're doing it wrong. Okay, okay. I um, You know what I could do? I, no, I want liquid. It's going to hold it. I could also do those like little dots, but here's the thing. Um, sometimes I find it very relaxing actually to glue things, and I don't know if you are like that, but I don't, I don't mind it. Like, I find it to be relaxing. We're, Mindy, did Mindy post her socials in here because she's rocking people's faces off. I'm telling you when I, and I saw, but I feel like Mindy, I've already seen people who said they saw your card and are making it too. It's just fun. It's just, it's so clever because here you have this beautiful autumn leaf die set, which uh, when I shared my card, cause Gina, wasn't this the, the like, the extra that was two two kits ago. Well, now it's available as a standalone set. And uh, when I did my card with these dies, the first one, and again, I'll I'll be sure to link my leaves as well. Um, it was really a popular video. <laughs> People were like, "This is so pretty." I'm like, "It's so simple." But yeah, when you have, you know, little outlines, it was the free gift. Yes, it came with the kit, and it was part of the free gift. Um. But here's what's so great about this thing. It's called Stretch Your Supplies. So if you have something that can do double duty as a snowflake, you're that's pretty good. All right, let's rotate some of you out. And that's what I love about this is that you're getting double duty. And Gina, you're too kind. Thank you so much. You uh you are a kind soul. Um yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it's great, great to be here today. I have a lot of gluing. Now see, here's the thing. When I'm doing like a regular video for my channel, which this of course is live, right? Um, I do record my stuff live. And the reason I started doing that, well, it was <laughs> because of Gina, partly the pandemic, but also some of my favorite old Gina videos were when she just did pre-recorded live because you get the sounds and you get the, you know, <laughs> thank you, Arletta. That's so kind. I love you too. Don't tell my husband. It can be between us. Um, No, Dan, Dan loves it. Dan, Dan, anyway, I modeled a lot of this, uh, my, my regular videos after Gina's because I like, I like that live recording, but they make them longer. For me, they make them longer. Sometimes I never stop talking. <laughs> when I'm filming my, my regular videos. And then, um, I can't, I can't find a natural place to break. It's, it's hilarious. I, I need to pause more, but I think this is the only time of day where I talk a lot is when I'm filming. Cause otherwise introverts don't say anything to anyone. Well, I mean, we text a lot. That's what we do. Oh, Diane. Bonjour. Bonjour. Salut. Um, all right. We're almost there. Here's the thing, even if I am not the most perfectly lined up, these are just gonna be gorgeous. All right, we're two more to go. 
Oh no, did I not do? No, here it is. Yeah, Kathy, you got it. You got it. Uh, it's nice to have you, Gina. Also, I um, uh, I did a, uh, I did share a video last night, uh, with Gina's new bundle, and I. I don't know, Gina, if you saw my card, but I got confused with the leaves and I'm like, wait, are these buds? But then I realized you could make them buds or leaves. Although if it were truly a bud, I think that the leaves surround the buds. So I got a little confused by that, but I love the bundle so much. And I remember when Gina taught the class at Scrapbook and Cards uh, Crop and Create event. And uh, I don't, this is fine. People felt sorry for me, but they don't need to. I, I don't, the teachers don't all get the boxes. I don't get the boxes because you know what? I've got enough craft supplies to sink a, bo a battleship. But when I saw Gina's class, I was like, I want that. I want that kit. And so when she came out with this, uh, it just made me very happy because then I got to have the kit. Oh yeah. And Gina, I placed an order last night. So I know your mists went so fast. I'm like, I got to get those. I got to get them. Threw a couple things in. Hey, listen, we support one another. And we support small businesses. And that makes me happy. Oh, while I'm here, I should also mention the Simon Says Stamp Crafty Boxes. I know they're going fast. But um, that is another thing I want to mention. The fundraiser for research and support for Huntington's disease and I don't know if anyone out there is affected by it. I know it's very near and dear to Heidi and her family. Um, and it's a great fundraiser for, wow, so much product for what you donate. I don't know if the $150 boxes, I think they're gone or they might be gone, but you basically get double that amount in product and so many companies. In fact, if you look here, many of the companies that are sponsoring my weekend event um, also contribute to the crafty boxes and um, th it's all donations. So it's really amazing. And it's such a great fundraiser. I mean, you know, someday we got to find cures to all these things, right? And, or you can just make a donation. Maybe you don't want more crafty product. Um, I was able to just to go to the site. There is a link uh, on the Simon Says Stamp blog in the sidebar that says, uh, Crafters, crafters for a cause. In fact, true story. I actually designed that for Heidi years ago when I first started working with her. And uh, you can just go there and donate directly through the link um, at the HDSE. I'm not saying it right, but at the Huntington's Disease Society of America uh, website. Okay, so we're gluing this together too. And uh, yeah, yeah. And all the proceeds go to HDSA. That's what's amazing. You, Heidi's not taking any of it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, everything is a donation. And so that feels pretty good. And here we go. So I need to make a note card and I hope this works. Let me get my card stock. Now, <laughs> you know me, I'm not going to I'm not going to be matting anything in black, Gina, but when I do, I feel a connection to you that is undeniable. All right. Um, and here we go. We're going to move all these guys over for now. I'm going to score a note card. Uh, all right. Here we go. Now, mm, I'm going to do two things. All right. Let's do this first. This is a heavy base weight white. And I'll just fold that and give it a nice press. I also think, what if I did lovely lavender? Would you like to see that? Because, uh, let me see, Gina, 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 do I have it? Yes, I do. All right. Um, I think, let me get my paper trimmer here too. Oh my goodness, we got a lot happening. All right, I'm gonna do a lovely lavender because, um, Let's zoom out here a little. It could be really, oh, sorry. That was very aggressive and fast. Again, Gina, I don't know if you've seen this, but like, if you want to see, I think this is hilarious. This is my space and see, that's all the space I have. It's really, that's it. Oh gosh, I love it. I love it. 
But you know what? I wouldn't trade this for anything. I was thinking about this today. Um, I know some people miss my craft slash dining room. I got to stand up to do this, but I don't. I don't miss it at all <laughs> because up here, the light never changes. The sound is controlled. Everything about this space is a good time. All right. Oh, let's get in a little closer. There we go. All right. Now here, it has to all come together, and hopefully it will. But I think there's a possibility we're going to do this on Lovely Lavender. But never, you know, never say uh, until we get it. I'm going to see what people think. <laughs> Mindy, I know, but Mindy, we both have. Well, okay, Mindy, I you do have a smaller overall space because I do have a whole room. Let me grab some foam tape. Hold on here. Oh, gosh, get off that. Okay. All right. I am going to give this a nice press. Tape it closed. All right. Yeah, this room, oh, it's the best. It is the best. And here's the thing, if I don't end up using one of these note cards, I just I just stick them back on the paper shelf um, so that I can pull things out. But I do want to have, I want to have this. See, that might even be too big. Um, I'm not sure yet. Hold on here. We might need to make this smaller. Here's what I'm not sure. I'm going to put these here. I want, I think I'm going to have to cut these because I want them to be... Um, I want them to be like that because then when winter wishes comes down, oh, I don't know. I might take a little more off of this. Hold tight. Hold tight. Easy now. See, and that's where the white may come into play, but let's see. I'm going to go three and three quarters. Oh, Kathy, you just did a terrible cut. What? There we go. Three and three quarters by five. Okay, stand up. And there we go. All right. Now this might be enough, but here's, okay, I'm going to put foam tape on. This is the only reason why I may, I'm not sure yet, why I may go back to white. If I don't see enough of the lavender, sometimes I get bummed, like I want to see more of it, but I realize I'm working with limited space. All right. Cut. This is the Big Mama Foam Tape from Simon's Stamp, and I have been loving this lately. I have been loving the loft. It is a lower loft, and sometimes I'm feeling that, and sometimes I'm feeling the uh, Ulta New, but lately I've been on this kit, and I've been using this. So we get a little dimension, but not too much dimension, and the thing is... Um, you know, I'm already going to be popping something on here. The texture on that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Okay. You go back. So let's see if we see enough. See, that's better, right? See that you can see a little more of the lavender. You can't have, you can't have a lovely lavender if you can't see the lavender. I think you can all quote me on that today. Okay. We're going to zoom in a little and let's see here. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut these. I know it seems like, why, why are you going to cut them? But I have to. But let's put this on first. Thank you. Oh, Jules, not tools. Sorry, friends. God, I get it. Get that off there. I saw someone left a comment on my YouTube channel because I, I read all of them. I read them all. So try, try to keep them on the up and up. Um, someone said, but my, my Jules are tools. And I'm like, you know... I just, that's, I don't, I don't want the Manny to break. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Forgive my head. I gotta, I gotta look down. You're going to see the nice big gray crown and that. Good. All right. Okay. Loving it. So I'm committed. Now here's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to cut these off like that one. I know. Seems painful, right? What are you doing? Oh, the leaves are the leaves are like, no, help me. They're fine. No leaves are gonna be harmed in the making of this card. I promise they can't feel a thing. They cannot feel a thing. 
Okay, what time is it? We're getting there. We're close. This one is close today. Oh, help me. Okay. Au revoir, Diane. A bientôt. Is that see you tomorrow or see you soon? I never remember. Yeah, Mr. Bill. Oh, no. Okay. Now, if I do this, you will see it's going to be pushing it. You know what? I might need to take even more off because, well, no. Mm -mm. I, I got to have a little more. Trust the process, I hope. All right, we're going to see. There we go. Okay, just a little. <laughs> yeah, but Gina, your jewels are... Should I... I think I should be up a little more with this, though. You know, like maybe... I just want to do a little positioning here because I want to, I want to see first where it's going to go. And actually, I think I am going to overlap some. See how this is starting to come together? Oh my gosh. Oh, you know, it would have been really cool. Shimmer spray. <gasps> Shimmer spray. But I'm not going to do it today. I'm not going to do it today. But here's the thing, friends. Okay. Th this is what's so brilliant, Mindy Farmer. You just made a, a snowflake out of a leaf. And then that's going to go in the center. <laughs> so cute. Sh should I keep it up like that? Do you guys like that? Or should it be more in the center? Up or center? That's what I don't know. All right. Now these come in together beautifully. So I think, do we want to go up? I think I'm going to cut these just a little more too for the base. Okay. The base snowflake like that. Again. We like it up. I only need to see a few ups and I'm pretty, pretty golden with that. All right. Now we get our connect glue and we make magic. All right. I'm telling you supply stretching, right? We love it. Like I said, these are now available at Gina K designs and, um, it's a beautiful set. It's a beautiful set just for, for autumn. I mean, let's be real. We're still in autumn, autumn. <laughs> Autumn is here. Um, we haven't gone to, um, you know, even if the snowflakes do, and they might card cut ups. Here's, a, here's what I love, love, love about card making. You just make your own reality, <laughs> right? And um, that's one of my favorite parts about card making. You want to have a sky that doesn't even exist in nature? You go for it. And I love that. So I feel like it's uh, it's kind of whatever floats your boat. But of course, you always run the risk of someone saying you're doing it wrong. And that's okay, friends. You know what? We're here to say there's more than one way to make a snowflake, you know? Oh, but this, Mindy Farmer, I'm telling you what. Genius. So good. All right, let's see. Hey, we got we got some viewers today at lunch. Um, and I'm cutting into your lunch. I'm so sorry. Now that, you know, trust me, I'm going out to get bran flakes, thanks to Gina. <laughs> I do need more sound effects, but I'm telling you, I just, it's so fun to make goofy things on YouTube. I feel like if you can't have fun on YouTube, you know, I love YouTube so much. Um, it has changed my life. I'm going to put a brick on that just for a second for that layer. Um, but I also believe we should have more fun and where we can, because the world is a very beautiful, but also serious place. And sometimes it's nice to have that little respite, um, to have some fun that that's crafting. I mean, that's crafting, whether you're making cards, whether you are making scrapbook pages or 3d embellishments or things that you frame and put on your wall, crafting is for fun and relaxation. And if you're me, Regina, it's also then part of your business. So, okay, now these guys, here's the thing. Should I put a foam square? No, no. We're going to focus here with that glue. And it's going to be enough to hold it, you know? So we're going to go here. And then we're going to do the same on the other side, right? Like that. Yeah, yeah. Gosh, Mindy Farmer, you're awesome. Yep, that's right. You got to do you. I'm going to do me. But I'm going to have fun while I do it. Yeah. 
Can I, can I tell you something that someone said the other day? Don't, don't remember where it was. It was in a live chat. Oh, Gina, it was in yours. It was in you last night. And I can't remember who said it, but someone said, they said, um, well, if, Je if Jennifer's the goat, Kathy's the float. And I'm like, the float? Funnest, fun, funniest lady of all time. Now, I wouldn't say that that is completely accurate. Am I the funniest lady of all time? No. Do I have a good time? I do. <laughs> Look at that. See how it's coming together? <gasps> the float. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm probably, I might do some dazzling diamonds would be pretty on here. Um, we'll see. Float. I thought it was great. Okay, but see how it all comes together? And then you know, you have just designed yourself a fan. And I'm holding, right? Just holding. Gina's the mule. Gina's doing the heavy work. Oh my gosh, that's killing me. Hold on a second. I need some foam squares. Gina, that's killing me. I picture Gina with her mule going up the hill, trying to refill the orders. Oh, crafting is good. Where is Jennifer today? She might be at physical therapy. Poor thing. She's, she's working hard. She's working hard to get that shoulder back into place. Or, you know, it's, it's in place. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I don't know who said float, but gosh, that was funny to me. And I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, so I'm just going to do this for now because I do think um, it would be nice to have a little dimension. Just a little clearance. Clarence, airplane fans. Okay, that's right, Gina, you're not the mule. You're the guy, okay. And then again, come on, come on. I'm telling you what, Mindy Farmer. Here's another thing too. You can find inspiration anywhere and make a card. I actually left, oh, thank you so much, Valra. That's so kind of you. Um, I, I left a comment on Vinny's post today and I said, Hey, I, I want to do this. Can I do, do you care if I do this on my live stream? I said, I promise I'll shout you out. But again, it's such a great idea. Take a leaf, turn it into a snowflake, right? I, those kinds, my brain does not work like that. It does some good things every now and then, but most of the time it doesn't. And I feel like I want to have, I don't know for sure. Let's just see. These are the Dazzling Diamonds, and I absolutely love these. You have a 50-50% chance that it's going to flip right side up, so I'm just going to I'm going to go here. Like, maybe I would have three. I don't know. I don't think I want to have one on every point, but I do want the small ones. I don't know. Haven't decided. Don't know if it's needed. What do we think? Should we have three on here, or should we go boopless? Thanks for being here, Gina. You go... You go run the empire. Get on that mule and ride, godmother. <laughs> I don't know. Um, because I feel like I, I don't want to mess up this design. And I don't want it. Should I do one at every point or no? Hmm. Think about that. So the original card that I was inspired is in Gina K Designs and Friends group. Uh, the stamp T, you know, it's Gina's Facebook group, her big community. I'm just going to show you what it would look look like all yeah I don't like it all the way around yeah I don't like it you know what sometimes and here's the thing in the words of the great Kenny Rogers you gotta know when to hold them know when to fold them know when to walk away know when to say done you would never count your oh your boops while you're sitting at the table there'll be time enough for booping on another card thank you we're not going to boop, but yes, go to, if you go to Gina K designs and friends, her main Facebook group. And if you're not a member, join, it's a great community. Um, really, really good people there and so much inspiration. So if you buy something from Gina, you're going to see so much inspiration and not just, you know, of the latest and greatest, but all sorts, right? Yeah, Stellar Crafts. I thought about three randoms. I don't know. I may still, but I just, I love this so much. But anyway, in, in, the, in the group, look for Mindy Farmer. Google or just type in her name. Her posts will come up and you will see her card and see how literally, I mean, she embossed the background. Like it's just, 
It's just beautiful. All right, look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I still, I still might see one more time. Let me just look again, because if I had one, I think I was trying to be too um, whatever. What if I did it like this? Check it out. Again, I, you know, sometimes it is seriously the matter of just like a, see that just feels, feels like I'm trying too hard. You know, you've got enough on here, but I kind of, or, or hold on. What if I did, uh, what if we went more with a, uh, pattern. Gosh, guys, I think I'm just getting a little too uh, ahead of myself here. What if I said, because we went higher, hold on, hold on here. We're gonna, oh, no, you know what? One. I don't know why this feels to me over here. Then here, and then a medium right there. Okay, I'm gonna take that off and do Something like that. Hold on. 50 50 percent chance. Come on. 50 50. Flip you. Go back. And then I'm going to look up at your comments in just a second. What if we did that? So we're getting our odd number. We like it. Yeah. So Linda says none, but Linda, you know, sometimes. See, but I do like to have that kind of jut in and out. You know, sometimes too, you go like that. I just want it to have an organic flow, you know? What do we think? I think it's pretty. And and here's the thing though, when I start overthinking it, I either have to stop, hold on, or go. And you know what? I feel like at this point, nothing's gonna harm it. I, I'm gonna, no bling. Some people are like, none. I think it'll look pretty though in the photos with a little shine. So you know what? I'm gonna boop it up and then we're gonna wrap it up. Um, pearls would be kid would be really cute too. I just want that shine. I don't know. I'm gonna do it. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's, let's go. And here's the thing: I gotta make sure that I put enough liquid boop, because of the embossing. So if you're putting bling boop, onto a textured surface. Just make sure you have enough, uh, you know. So Mindy Farmer, your awesome inspiration, boop, turns into a card that makes me really happy today. Boop. And also, again, if you have a leaf die with a backer, or even if you don't have a backer, like just what do you have in your stash? Boop. I do love, I do love this die set so much. Um, because it has, you know, it has the three leaves. The price is really nice on this, but that is my finished card project. So a little inspiration taken from the internet. Mindy Farmer, really appreciate that. I was dying to try it um, from when I saw it last week or three days ago, whenever you posted it. And that, my friends, is the finished card project. Hey! All right, let's see. Dual cam. Oh, there's me. Gosh darn it. Hold on here. Hold on. We're going to get camera effects. Why does this happen? I cannot ever get this to work. Go. Nope. Nope. It's not going to work. Everything's upside down. I, I don't know. Sometimes it happens. Anyway, that is my finished card project. I thank you all for being here. I'm going to go take some really pretty pictures of this thing. Again, I want to remind you of my live stream. There I am. 75,000. We've got guests. We've got bloopers, we've got a video from my husband, and we've got great giveaways um, from all of those wonderful sponsors. It will be Saturday night at 7 p.m. You do not have to be at the live to be eligible for this giveaway because it's all gonna be hosted on my blog. So when it comes time, there will be a link to my blog post and you'll be able to, uh... oh, Christina, did you see that? Christina, bonjour, bonjour, Christina. <laughs> it must be late where you are. Bonjour. But anyway, yeah, you don't need to be present at the live stream to be eligible to win because the live giveaway or the giveaway for 75,000 is going to be hosted on my blog. And that will be open for about three or four days. I'll have all the dates and it will, it will all make sense. But 
I have the setup now for the live. You can click notify me. Just go to my pro my page on YouTube, look for the live tab, and then look for that graphic that I showed you, and you'll be golden. All right, thanks everyone so much. If there was a question that you have, drop it in the regular comments at the end of the live. I always check all of the comments. Appreciate you for being here, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for being here at my live stream. And uh, I'll see you back here. Well, I don't think I have any other videos. Until I think I'll see you here on Saturday night. So thanks, everyone, and have a great day. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much, and have a great day.